Hello. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, my knee hurts. My body hurts. Everything hurts. <sighs> Anyways, so today I decided to turn my terrible, awful comments that I got this week into content. Um, I thought about reading the book this week, but I think this might be more fun because anything is content. I strand my hair and my makeup is crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling the Aries fiery vibes. I thought orange might be a good spring color. Here's Susanna. <laughs> Anyways, so this guy has been hitting me up on and off. When was this the first time? Five weeks ago, prior to Monday was the last time he was harassing me. But it's been like every day since Monday. Usually when I get a negative comment or when he does comment, I block him. Like I usually do with all people who give me the ick because that block button is the peace bearer of the internet. Since I've been off the internet for like 10 years, I deleted all of my social media because of people like him. At the time, I was drinking alcohol and smoking weed and I didn't have the same resilience as I do now. Even this past week, I wondered if I even gained something from it aside from like content. <laughs> creation. I didn't block his account right away this week because I just wanted to see what he would say. I had a feeling that he would tell me all the little rumors that are going on about me because people like to talk shit and I'm no stranger to it. You would be surprised by how young I was when I received very sexualized rumors about me that weren't true. It's a crazy world out there. But I thought it might be fun to just read all the negative comments that he made and give a response to it. Provide some commentary. Since I blocked him, I believe all of his comments are gone from Instagram and also on Twitter. But he definitely made his presence known. I didn't feel good today at the end of it. I was like, how long am I going to keep this up? And then I was like, maybe I'll, I'll block him after a week. And then I checked to see when this all started and it was on Monday. I've just been experiencing verbal abuse from one person every day since Monday. And he's created like multiple usernames just to harass me. And it's really sad and pathetic. It's just mind-blowing. Like, I know that human trafficking is very popular in the Bay Area. And one of the male's favorite way to get a bitch is to just talk shit to her and make her feel small. And I'm so glad that aliens are going to come by and destroy all the men. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's not going to happen. <laughs> but it would be nice. <laughs> that's That's been a thing that I noticed since I moved out to the Bay Area. I don't know why I still stayed. Like clearly men out here do not like women and they are so mean, which is why most of the women are gay. <laughs> and I do not know why men think I like them. Maybe it's because I like to put on makeup. Maybe it's because I've mostly dated men. I'm not very savvy with the ladies and most of the lesbians out here cheat on their girlfriends. Instead of reading that trauma book, I'm going to read my nasty ass comments from the same person this week. And I noticed that his username is times new 333 and when I clicked on his profile it said John. And I know that John is like another name for pimp. And I'm like, is this guy trying to pimp me out? Is he a whole ass human trafficker? And am I his target? Because I swear to fucking God, I'm sick of you motherfuckers. I am. Let me be a fucking woman and get the fuck off of my uterus. On Monday, this was 8.08 .08 p.m. 
An hour prior to that, he says, It's really funny how you think you're a good person. I wouldn't say I'm a good person. Well, I'm a, I'm a pretty decent person. I'm better than this guy, for sure. I've never screwed you over. He's screwing me over right now with this fucking behavior. Yet I'm a fake friend. Totally fake. You, you're not even using a real profile. Let me remind you, you screwed me. I'm such a victim. Literally and figuratively. The boyfriend you were cheating on to be with me left you in the dust. Did not cheat. And I would not. With him. And maybe the reason why he left me in the dust is because you were harassing the fuck out of him because you were obsessed with me. Just like I said he would. Because you are a harasser. You don't leave people alone. And then instead of validating what we had, we never had anything. Why are you lying? You go back to him because I like him more than you. And got a yeasty... That guy is so gross. He... Why does he think he's a, he's a good person? Why does he think he's a better person than me? From his cheating, loser, gross, old ass. He's not even that old. He was not old. Why is he calling him old? And he's not gross. He was hot as fuck. And I'm supposed to be okay with that? What? Rapist? Rapey ass behavior. Don't, he doesn't know what no means. Anyway, you make me believe karma is real. I don't think he does. Because if he actually believed in karma, then why would he act like this? With all this hate you have, I cannot believe. I have no hate, but after this week, I do. But hey, you do you. Let people, leave people alone. Leave people alone. You clearly have things under control while not understanding anything. What the fuck does that even mean? Why? Because I'm not, I don't let him in my life and like fucking, God, he's such an insect. I have a bachelor's degree. I at least know some things. And I know enough to leave people alone and respect boundaries, unlike you. And I don't judge people either. What a fucking loser. I keep calling him a loser because he keeps on harassing me like a fucking loser. And then I reply to him with a yawn emoji and then said, keep incriminating yourself for harassment and defamation. defamation. Then let's see. This was under a post on my Instagram. It was it of an email that he sent in the middle of the night at 12.55 am i'll read the email that he sent this was back in february um february 17th someone had a very lonely <laughs> valentine's day i for one had a very good valentine's day it was full of self-love and self-acceptance he said you are so stupid man what's up with people calling each other stupid out here like, you're just projecting. I know you're calling people stupid because you feel stupid, and you probably are. I didn't say you stole my car. When did I ever say that? That's literally insane to think that. Yes, you are insane. <laughs> I was just explaining, albeit in a weird way, my PTSD with helping any anyone. He needs professional help. Like, please, go talk to a mental health person or read a self-help book. Especially with the weird man-woman dynamic. 
Red Pill. Red Pill. This is giving Red Pill podcast. Alpha male Red Pill. Delusional. Crazy. Psycho. I'm gonna randomly punch women in the street. Behavior. That is so prevalent in our society, which I find disgusting, in, by the way. Then don't date women. He clearly hates women. You're damn right I switch accounts to try to wake you up and stop killing yourself. That is so weird. Why would you tell somebody that? That is so delusional and psychotic and abusive. This man is fucking abusive. And then he calls me a coward as he's verbally assaulting me from anonymous accounts that doesn't show his face. So crazy. Later that same day, on Monday, he says, You are the epitome of that old saying of show me your friends and I'll show you yourself. This guy is scratching the wall trying to find a jab. He is scratching the wall. If, if he does have any friends, it's out of pity. Because this is pathetic. And then Instagram hid this comment. It said, I know sex means nothing to you. It means everything to me. Which is why I don't sleep around. And I support the 4B movement. I actually have not se had sex in many, many years. And it has been glorious. I highly recommend it. If you have a vagina, join us in the protest <laughs> it is just wonderful god knows you have to cope i'm coping just fine but for me it does and it was just sad to see you so depressed after you went your own way <sighs> yes um maybe for you Never listening to me. Why would I listen to you? You're a toxic person. <laughs> Why would I listen to a toxic person? That's all. Go fuck yourself with your fake virtual signaling. Victim mentality. Oh my god, he's totally projecting. Fake vigilantism and hypocrisy. He is totally projecting. You are the only person talking shit about me online. I don't believe that. Okay, let me tell you a story of how I know this person. So his ex-girlfriend was my roommate a long time ago when I was in college. I had a two-bedroom apartment under my name. <laughs> Probably the last time that will ever happen. And I was looking for a roommate and his girlfriend went to the same college as me, met her, got to know her, and we got along good. And so she moved in and she told me about this fool. She used to vent to me about him. And she's like, dude, he's crazy. He would talk shit to me on multiple accounts and, and now he's doing it to me. He's doing the same thing he did to her to me. She warned me about this shit. And what's crazy is that she had an actual relationship with him. He was her boyfriend. I did not have anything like that with him. This is fucking crazy. She told me he was like this and he is acting the same way to me. That is so fucking crazy. It's just mind blowing how things come around. I doubt I'm the only person talking shit about him online. So unfortunately you have my undivided attention in that matter. Nothing else. LOL. Dude, he's fucking obsessed with me. It's so weird. And then I responded to his comment about show me your friends and I'll show you yourself. I don't believe that's true. I mean, it is to a certain degree, but right now I don't really have friends that I talk to on a regular basis. I've been doing a lot of healing. I've just been chilling. It's hard to make friends when everyone likes to drink and do drugs. It's really hard. Then I replied, I'm not responding to you anymore. You are making yourself look crazy. You're the perfect example of 
what not to do during this eclipse. There is a lunar eclipse on Monday, an Aries lunar eclipse, I'm sure you all know. And this is all leading up to it. Everybody's been saying, like, major changes are coming. And I'm sure he's in hot fucking water, and for some reason he chose me to vent his bullshit to. Have fun lying and talking to yourself in the comments. I'm leaving your comments up so people can see why I left social media. Too many liars, bullies, and crazy people. I hope you get help for your psychosis. Talk to a mental health professional before you hurt yourself and others. Don't be a danger to society. Too late for that. And then he said, are you saying you didn't cheat on your skater boyfriend when he was in Spain or something summer 2010? That is so weird. He's so specific. That is so fucking weird. We totally didn't F all day long. He's so fucking disgusting. And hang out several times in that little studio apartment before and after. No, we did not. He came back. Little delusional there. Yes, you are delusional. And not a little delusional, a lot delusional. And I can't believe he's going around saying this about me. Is this what I've been missing on the internet? This type of shit talking? It's so funny how you complain about how badly you were treated by others. Case is right here. When you are the exact same selfish asshole, you claim you're... I'm okay. I'm doing good. I'm just laughing at these comments that I got this week. I'm still reading Monday's comments. How badly you are treated by others when you are the exact same selfish asshole you claim your parents and friends and ex exes are. This man, not man, male, has been going around and talking shit. He's been talking shit. And look where that's got you. Isolated. Like a typical victim of abuse. Just keep assuming you know me. Projection, again, and thinking the worst. He is the worst. Just know that it's because your life is the worst and you are just pr projecting. Oh my god, did I not just say that? That is crazy. I should have just blocked him from there, but I, my curiosity was just too much. I just wanted to see how far this would go. I'm a controller for an 80 million a year company. Woohoo. If you want to talk defamation, I could put a dollar amount to the damage you would do to me lying, calling me on meth and a psycho. No, he can't. No, he can't. I, I mentioned this in my Instagram story. He's not a lawyer. A controller is a fancy word for an accountant. For him, this name drop of 80 mil he won't i wish he would tell me the name of the company i wish he would <laughs> but he's not going to because he's a coward he's an accountant not a lawyer he cannot put a dollar amount threatening me too and he thinks he's a better person than me calling me on meth and a psycho he was messaging me in the middle of the night like a fucking meth head and writing these psychotic comments Good thing no one watches you for your sake. He watches me, and people do watch me. He's a sad person. And then on TikTok, he also follows me there, and he also messages me from fake accounts. This one is, I can't even pronounce this. It's 6-A-K-A-U-A-5-R. This was on Wednesday. At least he gave me a day break. Jesus Christ. Why do I talk to you? He's not talking to me. He's talking at me. Because you can't keep my name out of your mouth. Because you keep harassing me. Why do I care? I don't know. Why are you in my comments? <laughs> because we... Oh my god. Because we were romantic once upon a time. Ew. No. No, no, no. He's been going around saying this? He's been lying and talking. No, we were never. No. What a fucking crazy person. And it's... I've never had anybody come up to me and tell me this 
This is so insane. And it's sad how you are. Why am I mean? Because out of the blue, I'm a creep and I look into it. It's probably because you are racist. What does that have to do with racism? That is so fucking weird. That is, what a fucking creep. No one needs tough love more than you. Tough love is just a euphemism for abuse. Saying you want to sue your old employer, you have disabilities, not suing my empl old employer i reported them to the civil rights department for breaking employment laws and i do have disability i have scoliosis i, I have an s curve scoliosis and it's fucking my life up and excuses why you can't they're not excuses i can't believe he's an he's this awful and you are talking and you are shit talking people online the only person I'm talking shit about is him, because he's right there. Oh god, I fucking hate this comment. It is so disgusting. You are in the twilight of your fertility. Gross. Ugh. I hate when men talk about, like, fertility and stuff. They sound so creepy and weird. Like, why are you worried about that? What a fucking weirdo. I hope I don't have kids so that I don't have to worry about them getting raped by fucking creeps like him. You are waiting for the stars, a plan, a planets to get you a job while you act like a red flag admirable. It's pretty normal for people with ADHD to be self-employed because... It's hard for us to keep a job. The last time I was able to keep a job was when I worked f at Whole Foods for like eight years. But then again, they knew about like my disability and they were more accommodating. They also gave me a really bad schedule and I didn't realize how shit it was until I left. Like for some reason, I never made enough money. <laughs> I was using my student loans to help me get by. I lived a block away from the Oakland Whole Foods, yet they still had me commute, cross the bridge, pay a toll to still work at the San Francisco location for like four or five hours. It was not a good deal at all. He is so terrible. Why are people like this? <sighs> I'm getting tired of all this bullshit. And then today, I blocked that account and then he created a new account. He said, the only thing I've ever done to you is leave you, but I only left you because I found a committed re relationship with someone else. I We were never in a relationship. He is so fucking crazy. Why is he acting like this? Is this what I've been missing out on? This fucking asshole talking shit about me all on the internet? And probably in real life too. That's probably why I was getting fired because I noticed that when I had my little jobs like things would be good at first but then like I noticed a shift in people's tune especially with management like as if um, someone was talking shit about me but I couldn't pinpoint it and I just ignored it because that's what you're supposed to do when it comes to negativity and people you're supposed to ignore the shit talkers and not give them any attention but i guess that's probably why i'm, I'm giving it attention now is to like stand up for myself because i never really had a chance to before and now i see all this fucking shit before i jumped back on the internet i had a feeling that someone was talking shit about me because I was getting like weird ass messages on Instagram at first. Like people assuming that I'm into like married people and I was a sex worker and I was not into that. I do not like married. I'm not, into, I don't even date. That's not appealing to me. It's a headache and I don't like married people. That's actually disgusting. I actually look down on people who are in a relationship and cheat on their spouse. Like that's weird to me and I used to have married men hit on me gross like no thank you I do not want any of that drama and then he changed his name to baby lay 311 which is fucking weird that is weird
And then he says, no idea why you don't feel safe. I've never done anything to you. Harassing me and fucking sexualizing me and lying about me, defaming me. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Always stopped intimate relations with you whenever you wanted, even in progress. He's someone who's been fucking chasing after me all up in my shit. He can't even get off my social media. What the fuck is he talking about? What a crazy person. Please keep talking trash about people on the internet. The only person I'm talking trash is him. See how potential hires will like that. I already reported like two restaurants for breaking... <laughs> breaking my civil rights. Aside from that, unless they're going around talking shit, I have to focus on self-employment. That's what people with ADHD end up doing. And that's what disabled people usually end up doing. They have to resort to self-employment because people are not accommodating. They do not like disabled people or they do not like people with neurodivergence. I will enjoy this show with popcorn. God, I'm kind of mad at myself for giving him this much attention because he doesn't deserve it. But at the same time, it's like, I have to stand up for myself because it's been so many years since I've been on the internet. And this is my time to like stand up for myself because people have just been running their mouths, like talking shit, calling me a cheater, calling me a promiscuous person. This person is like, harassing me and making fun of me. This is ableist behavior. And then he says, I'm just trying to help you as someone who would hire an entry level person, entry level position like you. I would never work with him. He's being so unprofessional. I don't even know why he's talking about work. Why would I work with somebody like this? This is disgusting. I can tell you are very lost. No, you are very lost because you don't know how to get the fuck off of somebody's page. But fine, go figure that out. And then, later on today, back on fucking Instagram, he says, How many times do I got to say I have no interest in you? Yet you're all over my fucking social media since fucking Monday. You don't shut the fuck up. You don't leave me alone. How the fuck can you even fucking say that? That's so fucking crazy. Stop freaking out. Do you stop freaking out, fucking weirdo? Do I need to go on about how this ain't an issue? Oh, I'm sure it's not an issue for you. Because you're the one fucking typing all this bullshit. I'm surprised you have all this time. How does someone have all this fucking time to write these nasty ass comments? Who has time like this? Like, he's been going at it, like, every couple of hours. Like, who has fucking time? Does he have a fucking job? If he's working, he's clearly not working, because what the fuck is this shit? I wish he would say where he works so that I could go to his boss and say, Hey, this motherfucker is fucking harassing the fuck out of me. Maybe you should tell him to fucking do his job instead of fucking bothering me. What the fuck? Acting like a fucking unemployed person, for reals. Do I need to go on about how this is an issue? I could go on about how you turn me off. I do not care. There is no one else here talking to you, dude. It's weird. You're weird. <laughs> I barely respond. He's just writing paragraphs and paragraphs of fucking shit. I don't want you to spiral even- Why is he trying to put words in my mouth and make me sound like a crazy person when he is all up in my comments writing crazy ass shit? But don't talk about me and I won't talk to you. Correct you. No, in fact, I won't talk to you anymore. Good. Bye. Go away. I've said everything I need to say. Good. Bye. I'm sure you want to screenshot before you delete. I meant everything. You are going down a sad path. Why is this fool worried about me? He needs to worry about him, his fucking self because if he has a job, he's clearly not doing his job.
and I was worried, that's all. He's a predator. You need Jesus. You need to fuck off. Oh, and then he continues on. It just doesn't fucking stop. If you know this fool, he is not working. Since Monday, he's been harassing me and not fucking working. Tell him to fucking do his job. Go count some numbers. Next message. God, I'm getting a headache. I need to drink water. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really bad at letting people I'm talking to have the last word. Obviously, you keep going. You just don't shut up, do you? When it's so inaccurate, but I realize you are just talking to yourself. I would rather talk to myself than talk to this asshole. People are listening, so I'm not really talking to myself. So fine, sit and spin. What a fucking creep. What a fucking weirdo. He's acting like he doesn't have a job. Why is he acting so unemployed? To be clear, schizo. Oh god, that projection again. Fucking psychosis. If I didn't bookmark your page because you doxed me, well, you're blocked. So now that bookmark isn't there anymore. He deserved to get doxxed. If I knew where he worked and his address, I would fucking let everybody know. <laughs> would I go that far? I don't know. I would at least call his job and say, hey, your employee needs to leave me alone <laughs> while he's on the clock. <laughs> I would forget you exist. I wish you would forget that I exist. Please forget about me. Day to day, you mean nothing to me now. Good. Because you are pathetic. <laughs> yes, but also that type of evil person who uses police to cause harm to people you hate? Disgusting. You are harassing me. I had to say something. Good luck with that, narc. Oh god. Okay, you want to get away with harassing somebody. You are the real reason. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck is this sentence? You are the reason real offenders get off scot free. What the fuck? Because of false accusers like you. What am I falsely accusing him of? I've been spending like 40 minutes reading all of his harassing comments. This is not fake. All of my friends who've been assaulted, their assailants got away and scot free because of you. What the fuck? It's disgusting. Why is he blaming me for something that has nothing to do with me? Whatever. He needs to look in the mirror because he has been verbally assaulting me all fucking week and he's been getting away with it. Jesus Christ. I haven't read all the all of these comments, so this is like new to me. I assumed you would have some ghetto friends in Oakland with nothing to lose to harm me. <laughs> I promise you, like none of my friends even know who you are. They don't and they do not fucking care. <laughs> they don't fucking care. I see that is not the case now. So bye. <laughs> Talking to you is obsession to you? That's weird. I only talk to you when you publicly harass and dox me. Who's coming to whose social media page from an anonymous account? What the actual fuck? Thank God for my life, all your followers are bots. Actually, there are more people that I know in real life on Instagram than on TikTok. I have like a handful of friends from like high school, one person from like middle school, one person from college that are mutuals on Instagram. So they're all not bots. My TikTok, however, is full of bots. <laughs> oh God, this is giving me a headache. Oh, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Wow. I spent 40 minutes reading and commenting on all of his comments. But hopefully that will be it for now. I'm pretty sure it will take him like a few days to create a new account so that he can harass me some more. If he truly believes I'm just talking to myself and all of my followers are bots, like why is he even fucking worried? Oh god, my head hurts from doing that. I think I need a nap now. Whew. Anyways, this is going to be fun to watch back. It's also been interesting to see how I talk when I'm 
angry or anxious. I realized that I talk like shit. This was quite a rabbit hole. I went down. I should have just blocked him on Monday. Like as soon as I got that first message on Monday, which is what I usually do when I get negative comments is I block the people. But then I just got curious. I was like, wait a second, let me, let me just see what he's telling people off the internet and what he's probably saying to my jobs that didn't last very long. Hey, Mad Daffek, how are you? You missed the session. I was reading all the negative comments I got from one person this week. This week he made three profiles just to talk shit to me. Can you spell my name though? It's like, what is that? I don't know what your name is. Error 404. Yeah, that's how my brain feels. What's going on? What do you want to talk about? I just finished sharing my negative comments from one person <laughs> this week. It was good, actually. Um, usually I, I have trouble sleeping, but last night I slept through the night. I went to bed early and woke up pretty early, but then it was quickly interrupted when I got some nasty ass text messages from my online harasser. But other than that, it's been pretty chill. My dog is doing good. She's just as cute as whatever. We spent about an hour in the yard just like hanging out. It was a beautiful day. She was playing in the grass and stuff like that. And what else? I'm gonna cut my hair. I want to cut it very short. Dye it? No. <laughs> I'm in my dye free era. I would rather cut it. I want to cut my hair and shave my eyebrows. Susanna, do you want to say hi? You want to say hi to the stream? Come here, babies. Hold on, please. Oh, look. I love you. <laughs> this is my dog. This is Susanna. She's not interested. <laughs> She's a Chihuahua Italian Greyhound mix. She is a very good girl, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a very good puppy. What color do you want to see it dyed? Anyways, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Don't know what else to talk about. And I have a headache. Blonde, maybe. Mm, everybody would does blonde. I don't think my hair would look good bro blonde. Brown maybe. Yeah. My hair is already brown but it's a dark dark brown. If I could dye a crazy color I would do blue green. Like a dark blue green. Why should I dye it? Because I have gray hair. <laughs> I like my gray hairs. That's actually the main reason why I don't want to dye it. I just want to keep all of my gray hairs just to piss off all the red pill bros. I don't feel like it. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm bored. Bye. Hello. I just want to hop in and give a quick update on what's been going on because you would think it would stop, but it has not. I went live on Twitch in April. The earliest message I received from him was in February, and now it's June. I recently created a GoFundMe for my scoliosis treatment at a chiropractor that specializes in scoliosis. I had an epiphany. Arthur Valla has not hit me up in this intensity. He never talked to me until I started going on ADHD medicine. I thought it was weird how he told me don't take it. I'm beginning to realize that maybe him and his ex-girlfriend broke into my room when his ex-girlfriend was living at my apartment, took my personal information, did some scammy ass shit with the SSA because even when I went to the SSA office to create my claim they were being really mean and shady about it being straight up rude to me I'm not gonna read the next two messages I'm gonna post but the two messages he messaged me through GoFundMe said all these crazy awful things I just want to announce to the internet I do not date I do not sleep around I do not date because people out here do not know how to be honest about their relationship status. So what is the point in dating? 
I would rather be single. For some reason, he thinks I only like men, but I don't. It's just disgusting. It blows my mind how terrible he is. The two emails that he created, I reported those email addresses to Google. I contacted the FBI. I'm in the process of creating a restraining order. The only thing that makes sense to me as to why he is acting like this is because he has something to do with my disability benefits. And now that I am creating a claim, he wants to be all up in my shit and call me a bad person. Why does he emotionally abuse me on the regular to this day and he thinks he's a better person than me. I do not understand it. There's a lot of terrible people in the world. It's no secret that there are scammers and people who have no compassion for others and abusers. It is what it is. And I just want to share my story because this awful person has been emotionally abusing me creating multiple accounts to harass me and committing a cybercrime and possibly identity theft. He is also committing disability abuse. He is calling me stupid because I have ADHD. He's discounting my scoliosis and he's trying to get in the way of me accessing my benefits. I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one who is dealing with this type of stuff. I hope that putting a video like this out will make someone else out there who is scared, who feels like they're alone, to let them know you're not alone. And this is a real thing that happens to people with disabilities. There are nefarious ass people. And you know what? I have not re responded to any of his comments, messages, any of that since i told him i'm not going to respond to you anymore he has just been talking to himself this whole time there's something wrong with him i am afraid for my life i'm afraid of getting graped by him because he is sexually harassing me in these messages and he will not stop i'm going to post the gofundme email that he sent in the next couple of slides. You can pause to read it, pause to see what type of email addresses he used and what kind of message he sent me. He's an evil, abusive person and he needs to be stopped. I hope you enjoyed the video. I did my best to make it, you know, lighthearted and turn a negative into a positive. Recently, it has brought me down. It has messed with my brain so hard that I thought I had an appointment today, but it was actually the following month, not this month. I don't know if it's ADHD. I know I'm distracted because he is creating a traumatizing event for me. There's a handful of professionals who believe that ADHD can be created from trauma. In The Body Keeps the Score, a lot of the children that they talk to were schmectually abused and abused in general who came from broken homes have ADHD and it's kind of wild to me how ADHD is so I don't know it just feels weird because I was always embarrassed by my ADHD diagnosis but now it's like a trending thing and I don't know if it's because people with ADHD are given stimulants and people want to be on stimulants but ADHD comes from being abused. It's so important to distance yourself from people who are abusing you, even if it's family. Case in point, Britney Spears. She has family, she has all this wealth, but she has also worked for her family and they have gaslit her, called her crazy. They're just using her as a cash cow. To me, that shows me it doesn't matter if you come from a large family and you have money. If you are surrounded by abusers, by people who take away your resources, who call you crazy and abuse you to the point where your brain starts dysfunctioning, you're better off 
distancing yourself because what's the point? Yes, you're like alone and you don't have a support group, but at least you're not being abused. I'm surprised he didn't even try to be nice. He just went straight to emotionally abusing me and he has not stopped. And I kept thinking he's going to go away because he disappeared for like 13 years. And now all of a sudden, because I created an SSA disability claim, he wants to pop up and emotionally abuse me and write a bunch of crazy stuff on my social media. There's a lot of dangerous people out there. This is just a warning. I don't know what's going to happen to me. All I can do is just take it one day at a time, try to stay positive, and continue to create artwork because that's the only thing that's keeping me sane. I will show you what I worked on today. This is my most recent watercolor painting. Look at it. I like it. I'm so proud of it because I think it looks cool. I can just stare at this all day. That's how much I like this watercolor painting. It's chaotic, but it's soft and there's a lot going on. And I feel like this is a true reflection of how I feel and what I'm experiencing right now. If you are hurt or going through it, do not take your negative energy out on another person. There are better ways to handle your anger. I was physically assaulted. I was pushed by my last employer. He pushed me into a trash can and he punched my arm. My dumbass didn't make a police report and I haven't been able to go back to work since. I fought back in a different way. I reported the restaurant and his actions to the Civil Rights Department, the California Civil Rights Department. That's my way of pushing back on him and hitting him back. Now the restaurant is under investigation. Hopefully nothing weird is going on with the investigation because the last time I reported a restaurant for breaking my civil rights, shit got weird. There's a lot of abusive people out here and it's sad. It's crazy how they do not know how to handle their negative emotions. All they know is how to be evil. Be safe out there. I don't want to say be the bigger person, but figure out a way to take your negative energy out in a positive way. You do not want to turn into these abusers. You do not want to turn into these awful people who go around harming others because they don't know what to do with themselves. Harm the person who harmed you. Don't harm someone who is weaker than you, who has less than you. That's what I was trying to get at. There's so many ways to release your negative emotions. There's art, there's music, there's working out, there's talking to a professional. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I yapped for way too long. Have a good night. Bye.